I think I got about 100 yards down the road and I felt this impact in the small of my back. Turn around when I was setting out the third cone, I had a vehicle coming towards me. I didn't see him until after they'd struck me and stopped up ahead. It was a devastating experience. I felt something strike my arm and I don't even know if he realizes he hit me or the channelizer. He just knows he hit something. Be thankful for breakaway mirrors, right? I heard uh, something get hit and it was a car trying to outrun the other cars to the work zone and he didn't make it, sideswiped me. I looked back and there was a car coming about 50 miles an hour and the car just came right, by, right over my feet. Put the phone down while they're going through our work zones and hope that they're going to look out for us. stranded motorist on 435 southbound Eastwood Traffic Way. It was in the number three lane. And uh, at that time, I had to close that lane off to keep other motorists uh, uh, hitting that vehicle. And that's part of safety. And um, at that time, I had to set cones out. And I set my, my second cone out, and I had to go to my vehicle and uh, take some more cones out, because we had to have five cones anytime we closed the lane off. And I turned around when I was setting out the third cone, and I had a vehicle coming towards me. And uh, the guy was just coming at me full force, and uh, he practically got this vehicle to slow down to stop. And uh, that was one of the close calls that I had this year. As I was walking back to the my truck, which like I said was at the halfway point, uh, I was inspecting the drains and uh, I think I got about 100 yards down the road and I felt this impact in the small of my back and not even, not even knowing that the, I, mean, I had no idea that the truck was going to be backing up, but it, it was just such a strong hit, you had to know what it was. And so first thought is, oh crud, I'm dead. <laughs> And, and then the survival instincts took over and I said, no, you ain't gonna go that way. I tried to roll out, hit the barrier wall, and then ended up falling back underneath the tires of the semi-truck. And they put one axle of the trailer, at least one axle of the trailer, up over my shoulder and kind of this way across me. Ran down my arm, broke my shoulder blade, didn't touch my collarbone, which is miraculous. Uh, massive tissue damage. I've still got displaced muscles and tendons and things through here and here. Got sensory problems in those two areas. Sometimes you can barely touch it and it feels like you hit me with a pack of needles. Some days you can hit me with a sledgehammer and I don't feel it. time of the accident, I was a construction inspector. Um, I was um, on the roadway doing inspection work, um, uh, working alongside uh, the contractors, um, making sure that uh, the roadway was built according to plan. I wasn't in the wrong. I was in the work zone. I was talking to the contractor. I was talking to the uh, construction, uh, the guy on the roller who was running the roller pattern, running the roller over the, over the asphalt. And I just happened to look back. If I hadn't looked back at that instant, it was, um, he would have gotten me full force. And it was, um, it was amazing that I was even able to get out of the way as much as I did. And he only ran over the tops of my, my boots. Uh, still toes on, I had on the night gear, uh, the reflective pants, the reflective vest, the hat, so on and so forth. Um, but there was nothing that I could do other than um, just jump. I was out of work for, um, I usually say about two years. Two years wondering if I was gonna be able to walk again, if I was gonna have a job, if what I was gonna do, uh, what other employment I was gonna have to seek. Um, it, was, it was a major 
major statement. Once you have an, an injury like I did, the doctor told me you have about six months. And if it doesn't heal in six months, you're gonna have to live with what you got. And that just kind of put a fright in me because I didn't know, they couldn't tell me anything because they didn't know anything and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to really walk again. 